Princess Mercedes, where have you been? You're quite persistent, aren't you, old man? Wait, Mercedes. Mother. Wherever are you off to? With my precious bow. Frog hunting. Yes, I see. Tis necessary to exterminate those pests that eat the little fairies. But you should leave that task to the soldiers, dear. I just want to improve my skills with the bow, so I can join you on the battlefield. Mercedes, I cannot take you along when we battle the Demon Lord. No! Why not? Mercedes, you are young. You need to learn this. You mustn't be eager to go to war without even knowing why we are fighting. So, why are we fighting? We born from the forest cannot live without Phozons, our source of life. Melvin! Phozons are magic elements generated by nature. They are rare outside the forest. Since we have collected them from around the world, we are gifted with prosperity. The Demon Lord has declared war on us so that he may obtain our treasure. Is that what he wants? Our greatest treasure, the Cauldron, will give him enormous power. So, that's why he's attacking? <laughs> Mercedes. I shall entrust you with my precious bow. It will be your responsibility to protect the country while I am away. Yes, Mother. I understand. So, I'll be off hunting now. Oh dear, I wonder if that child understood anything I told her. Tis a problem. She has no idea of her position and what is expected of her. Melvin, you are her cousin. She treats you as a brother. Please help her become a good queen. As you wish. I shall make it my duty to assist Princess Mercedes in any way possible.
Your Majesty, the Demon Lord has launched an assault. Our soldiers have been pushed back, and some have deserted from the front line. Our Guardian Dragon is having trouble dealing with Odin's Witch. We have no choice but to retreat. Your Majesty, please issue the command. The Demon Lord is invading! What an enormous cipher! It's been a while, Alfaria. Last time you were unusually shrewd and managed to steal the cauldron away from me. Demon Lord Odin. You are beautiful as ever. And yet, I regret that I will have to break your perfect neck like stepping on a lily. I will not give you the cauldron. You will have to take it by force. Yet I cannot allow you to continue your violent and petty ways unpunished. Say what you will. Your attempts at deception have no effect on me. Observe this blue orb. Behold the might of the wicked eye, Baylor. Queen, accept defeat. With this, I will become absolute ruler of the world. Go, mourn the death of the fairy race. Princess, please compose yourself. Mother! Shh. Now listen carefully to what I have to tell you. It is very important. Mercedes. You must not look down. Raise your head high and survey the path ahead. You are the next fairy queen. Ringford will soon be in danger. If the magical kettle, the cauldron, if it draws in all the bosons, our forest and our people cannot live. The land needs a leader. You will need to revive the country and get the cauldron back from the Demon Lord. If you respect my words, you will need to choose the path of royalty over revenge. Be a queen. Tis difficult to place such a burden on one so young, but I know you can do it. Mother believes in you. Is my time to go, Mercedes? Oh, dearest Earth, take me. I go back to whence I came. And to the beloved heavens, I will give you my name. I am Elfaria. My true name is Fimble Vetter. This awful winter shall disappear with me. Princess Mercedes, we have so many injured that we have run out of sick beds and medicine. What shall we do? Well, um, uh, 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 
Let us open the Southern Imperial Villa and house the wounded there. I shall notify our mages to increase healing potion production. Princess Mercedes, I hope this is adequate. Uh, oh, yes. So you must be Melvin's Shadow Knight. Pardon me. I'm not feeling well. Knowing that the Demon Lord is on his way here makes me nervous. Do you think that girl can fulfill her duties as queen in these times of strife? Her cousin Melvin is quite dependable. He ought to take her place. Your Majesty, I'm extremely unhappy. In the past, the former queen battled with the dwarves for the cauldron. When we were defeated, we left our forges and became lilipats. But the dwarves who escaped the fairies joined forces with the Demon Lord and made more weapons to hurt us. Your Majesty, I swear by my horn. I will fight to the end for Queen Elfaria. Thank you. It has not been long since you lost your mother. Perhaps you need a vacation. But Melvin, I'm... Allow me to handle the governmental affairs. The people will be fine. Are you suggesting that the Queen is a burden? Absolutely not. Melvin, the Chief Armorer would like to discuss something with you. I'll see him immediately. Excuse me, I must be on my way. So he's controlling the armed forces as he wishes. Just as Mother said, I cannot do anything. Queen Mercedes, please control yourself. There's something strange in the air here. Melvin is acting highly suspiciously. His heart burns with ambition, and he seems to be making some kind of plan. He's not showing anything on the surface, but we can't let this continue. Let us speak with the sorcerer who served Queen Elfaria. The famous sorcerer Beldor, who enslaves a dragon and sees the netherworld. It is better to have a dependable expert on our side. I doubt he will cause a rebellion within the land, but who can say? If the country collapses after Queen Alfaria's death, the Demon Lord truly wins. I have heard that Beldor has retreated to a place in the forest. If Queen Mercedes should visit him in the forest, he should be honored to help.
a fairy. I finally met a fairy. Hey, listen. I'm running a shop here. Why not take a look?
Bystander, I'm just a nice goblin. Just don't ask where my wares came from. <laughs> Does Beldor really live here? Ah! Oh no! What should I do? Oh, what's going on here? You stupid frog! I dropped my mother's bow! Now how is that my fault? This pond is full of frogs. Oh no! I can't find it! The pond is deep in places. I could dive and look for it. Hmm. But if I help you, what can you do for me in return? Well, I... I won't shoot any more frogs. I'm wasting my time here. Hey, wait! I know! I will grant just one wish for you. Will you please find my bow? Okay, it's a deal. What a greedy little frog. He probably has some stupid, pointless wish anyway. Princess Mercedes, what are you doing in this swamp? Perfect timing. I have been looking for you, my loyal sorcerer, Beldor. I have a request for you. I would like to ask for your assistance. I have a dilemma. I am currently a faithful servant to King Melvin. Melvin is not king. Make no mistake, I am queen. No, he shall be the new king very soon. Now come, Belial. Swallow this little queen and make her disappear. Is this what you lost? Hey! <laughs> Little help?
cannot let you return. Please prepare yourself. What the? He... he's poisoned me! This will have to wait. Ran off, hey? Cypher? You're awful. My skills are ruined. D do you want to continue? I do not. Lower your weapon. I must obey that sorcerer's commands. If only he were gone, I would be able to enjoy a moment of freedom. I'm sorry. I didn't know, and I... Are you showing compassion? To a creature that threatened you? Kind-hearted young queen, listen to my warnings. The flames of rebellion are in the flower garden. A mutiny has begun. It must be Melvin. You must act now, otherwise you cannot turn back. Hey, wait! What about your promise? Mother... What should I do?